Shinjo is slowly regenerating his HP back though, which is great. He's got no moves left. I think we have this in mag. We're able to heal him up, and Shinzo's got some regeneration going. Very, very close fight here. This could have gone either way. Through Burn and Dizzy on us. Wow. He could come back here. Oh, he's going to come back. He's going to win. Wow. He's going to win. All right, so we should be able to take care of... The warden. We got toxin on him. His skills should have a longer cooldown here. We have some really quick reusable skills. So we're gonna try and wait. And you can see toxin is still doing massive damage. We got toxin three on on the warden there. When is it going to stop? Is it going to kill him with the Toxin 3 there? It looks like we're actually going to get the Toxin 3 kill. Yes. Wow, Toxin just it ticks away. And it didn't go away at all. I wonder if that is a, a new change. Ah, so close. That was, so that was an epic fight right there, guys. Master Will is one of the best players in this game as well. Ooh, he had me. It was a sliver. Sliver of HP. Legendary chests are more for top 50. Yep. Yep. Legendary chests definitely are uh, not for most people. Ooh, that was that was awesome. Thank you, Master William. Thank you. Thank you for queuing up. Let's do another one. Come on. All right. I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna wait for him. I'm gonna wait for Master Will. I don't want to get an AI after that epic fight right there. So that that's what this game is all about. Those things, those epic battles. He's probably changing his team out right now a little bit. So let's take a look at what we have. What worked, what didn't work. Take a look at our team here. I think the... What happened? What happened? Uh, I'm trying to remember here. I think the Skitterball got killed really... No, Skitterball almost got his Vecca Storm off. Something got killed really quick. If I remember. Was it the Shellback? No. Sleazebark? No. Sleazebark was our like MVP there. Our things were went down pretty quick. That's what happened. He had a nice stone relic on him. We miscued in the beginning with our violent surge. That's so why he's. Wait just a second. Check the chats. Ugh. Just waiting for Master Will now. So yeah, I, I want to finish with Master Will or Heartbeats. Some epic clashing of Solaris. A showdown here. That's what that's what the final battle should be. We're at nine and one. That's definitely a fight to go back and watch. I uh, definitely want to go. All right, he's queued up. Let's queue. Queue. All right, see right there instantly when you got a human. All right, so I guess I should probably fake it out and not go with a one and two here. Uh, let's start with something different this time. Let's start with something different. Okay, I'm gonna try something completely different here. Three and four, go! Uh, wow, Slugsley's not good here. Slugsley's coming out. We're gonna bring out our slug something. We're gonna try and put toxin on that guy. And Skitterbolt, not good either. Wow, we picked the wrong Solaris, guys. So we're bringing out... And we're going to draw back that Slugsly. Ah, uh, he's dead. So 
So we're, oh, huge reckless flames. Damn, we're in trouble. Definitely big trouble here. All right, so hitting the Neminoi over there with the nature on the warden. He's bringing back because he wants a better matchup for, for his scouts. So we're going to throw a Toxin. No, actually, we're going to cancel that because he's got the Rock Pile. His first move is is a freaking Granite Renewal. So this is where coming in and learning the, the skills. So we're sending all our attacks to Neminoi because we know that Rock Pile doesn't do anything in the beginning of the fights. He buffs himself up. Now we're going to send a move over there. Big, big hit there, and now we're in deep shit. So I should have taken out, yeah, I should have taken out the Slugsley. I knew it was coming. But we're going to hold here with our Warden because we have bad matchups galore. And our Warden can actually tank and do some damage here. Oh, Fangsworth coming back. Alright, we got rid of that. Alright, now we can bring Fangsworth back out. Ah, we tried to get the team haste on him. It didn't work. Using an attack to try and kill, or trying to regain some life. Ah, uh, he killed the Fangsworth. Uh, we have to bring him back. We're dead. We're dead! Three to one. Can the warden kill them all? Alright, let's try and get Toxin on the warden here, just in case. Maybe we can get Toxin three and get lucky again like last fight. I don't remember. See, this is where it coming. If I knew exactly what he did. Ah, he's got no skills. No skittles. That's so they got guard team up. He's got a phalanx at full HP. Oh, looks like it's all she wrote right here. Yep. Oh, good game. Good game. All right. So, got to go back with one and two. G one and two. All right. Yes. Let's go again. So, this is it. We're either going to win, get 10, or we're going to lose nine and zero. Nine and three. One more. So yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of delay in the chat with the stream. Aww. Aww, he's finished. Sad day. Aww. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we have to beat an NPC for our 10th win. Hopefully we don't fail. Hopefully we don't fail. Well, Scruffy will give you a... Congratulations. Since you probably didn't see, this is Scruffy. This is our cheerleader. <laughs> and that is my wife's pet stuffed animal from like baby from childhood. Thing he's he's ancient. He's like twenty seven years old. So good game, good game. <laughs> cheerleader. Yeah. Ah. All right, Rena. But yeah, those are those are epic PVP battles. You can see just a matter of timing and 
a little bit of misplays here and there, can tweak the battle back and forth. And that's what Moonrise is all about. So if you are watching or thinking about playing uh, and you're at all excited about like competitive Pokemon or competitive uh, you know, PvP with little monsters and things like that type of nature, this is the game for you. Definitely get into Moonrise. Uh, comment down here. Post a comment on YouTube. Uh, you know, follow the Twitch, and you can get into the beta. It's currently an early access beta phase. You can buy in on Steam for 15 or 20 bucks, but you can definitely win and get free keys by following the streams, checking things out like that. So. Definitely get involved in the community, and the the best thing is the developers of this. They're Undead Labs. They are freaking amazing. Um, I, I won a T-shirt from them already. Like they they give away things like that. They give away beta keys. They give away gems. They give away uh, trips. Like trips. The game isn't even out yet, and they're they're giving away like free trips to Seattle. And then they they've also given away iPads, iPads, iPad like fives or whatever. Um, their prize support, their customer service is just amazing. So we threw up regeneration there. This is going pretty well. We got the dynamic, dynamic recovery over there. Oh, the regeneration got interrupted, unfortunately. Can we? No. Oh. So we bring out a lightning creature. We got two fires. That lightning creature's going down quick. And you really, you gotta watch those affinity matchups. Another lightning creature over there. That means that one's gonna go down pretty quick as well. And yeah, so got hotkeys you can customize so you can say I'm selecting you can also just manually click the Solaris the monsters it's not the way to do it though hotkeys one two three four five to bring them out you can drag and drag them back you can do it that way as well it's a little slower but I like to do everything kind of um, the hotkeys to select them and then use my mouse for other things so those things make a huge difference if you run up to someone that's not using a hotkey You'll see just the speed factor is not there and it's not at fault of theirs I mean it just takes some time it takes a lot of time to get used to the hotkeys and to learn them It's a really quick fast-paced game Here We go there's our spoils of war. We got the mini Solari booster pack Which is three random summonings of the Solaris 6,000 gold a whole bunch of essences 14 of those capture keys 90 gems and we got the scruffy in the hood, Scruffy in the hood. I'll pound it and out. Boom! Pound it and out, guys. So that's gonna do it. There's the run for the arena. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. We we made the random team right there, right in front of you guys. We built it. We lived it. We had some epic battles. Heartbeat. Uh, Master William. Two losses to those two players, those great players, and we still came out on top with ten wins, with a huge amount of of gold, huge amount of keys, huge amount of gems, and just had a blast here. So check out Moonrise if you have any questions. Post them in the comments. I will be back. I'll be doing some Royal Revolt 2 very, very soon. Just going to take a short break. Heading out there talking about Royal Revolt 2. So that's a tower defense game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, tower defense game by Flare Games. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.